Okay guys, let's see how we can install and set up Laravel development environment in Windows. So let's assume that we are running WSL already. If not, go to turn Windows features on and off. And from here, we can install Windows subsystem for Linux. Then we need to set up a user and account. Afterwards, from Microsoft Store, we can choose distribution. So for example, we can choose Ubuntu to install here. And when ready, we should be able to open Ubuntu prompt. This means that we have installed WSL correctly. Then in order to set up our environment, we can just copy this line here and paste it. And this will automatically install PHP Composer and Laravel. Now, what's more interesting is that we can specify even versions which we would like to be installed. For example, here after the Linux, we put slash and 8.3 and this will install PHP version 8.3 for us. Okay, we can execute the script and we'll see it's already downloading the PHP binary. It will set all the paths for us. And uh, actually, it will create uh, statically linked binaries inside of one directory. This directory is home, and then the user, then config, hurt light, and then bin. So if I list what's inside of this, we can configure our PHP options from here, and we can even uninstall hurt light. You see the composer, Laravel, and PHP. This means that we should be able, for example, to run composer from everywhere. And that's one very easy way to have local installation of those uh, commands, as well as Laravel. Now let's move to the extensions that are useful when developing. So we'll start with PHP CS Fixer for code formatting and also to ensure that our code is adhering to the standards. And uh, here I've installed it directly using curl. So I've pasted this command and then make the executable and move it to user local bin. And as you can see, after running those commands, I'm able to run PHP CS Fixer and I have the output. Um, this is not the only thing that uh, you need to install afterwards in order to use it in Visual Studio Code. You should install its extension and when ready, we should be able, for example, to use the formatter and uh, with format document, it automatically fixes our code. The other extensions are the Laravel extension from the official Laravel creators, then Laravel ID helper and PHP and Telefence. For those extensions to work correctly, you need to go here on the extensions and search for the built-in extensions. Let's type PHP. And we have PHP language features. We need to disable this one because we are overriding it with our new extensions. And as a result, for example, if we go to the request and try to see what it gives us, the extensions are correctly recognizing our context and uh, we have very nice recommendations. Now for the Laravel ID helper, it also requires certain installations outside of Visual Studio Code. Actually, from the web page of the extension Laravel ID helper, we can see how we can install it using a composer. And then we need to generate certain auto completions. So we run PHP Artisan ID helper generate, then ID helper for the models and meta. So after running those commands, you should be able to enjoy auto completion in your editor. Last but not least, let's see how we can navigate inside of the project very easily. For example, now we are at the out controller and let's say that we are switching to the user model and how we can go back easily. Basically, we click on out and then the left arrow and this brings us back uh, to the previous file. This is very easy for you not to look for the files constantly where you have been. The same can be used to go forward. Actually, this way, returning back to the originating file. Another interesting feature is, for example, if we would like uh, to check in the whole project the occurrences of this password, we can click on Control Shift and then F, and this automatically will look in all the project files for the occurrences of this password. So that's very useful for navigation in the overall project. If you would like to go to a specific file, 
let's say we close all those files and we would like to go to the user.php we can just click on control p and then just type user and automatically we have some suggestions then we can click directly on the file this is quite fast in comparison when you are traversing the tree on the left side another nice feature is when editing text especially templates you might have a lot of occurrences of the same word and you might want to see the changes that they are edited simultaneously for example here the password again when we double click on it to select it and then press on Control and d then we can type whatever we want here and it will affect the two places so that's quite useful also if you want to see the changes alive all right guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you would like to receive more of the interesting content just subscribe to the channel thank you